you have a tidal area as well, so the tidal goes up and down, shallow water, what are you doing? They made floating kennels and put the dogs in floating kennels with a chain so they could jump off and go at the convicts. Make it very difficult to cross. Now of course that doesn't you're not going to just convict escapes, it's not going to just look at them and go oh, too bad, I'm just gonna head back. A couple of them came up with some novel ideas of trying to escape, if you tried to swim, tried to steal boats, things like that. The most novel, I think his name is Billy, uh, idea that I have heard. We found an old kangaroo carcass. He gutted it out, pulled out all the insides out and covered himself in the kangaroo carcass. He thought he'd hop across. But we didn't want to go near the dog, so we thought I'll hop past the guards. Sure he is in his kangaroo carcass, hopping along. You're a guard sitting there, you're bored, you're hungry. Yeah, a kangaroo could taste pretty good. He didn't think about that. The guards all of course saw kangaroo, stood up, leveled their guns at the well, Billy in his kangaroo suit. At which point he realised the game was up, he threw off the suit. <laughs> Yelled out, I'm a convict, don't shoot! And Billy went back to Port Arthur. And probably for a very large round of the lash by the Cat of Nine Tails. You see, mentioned the Cat of Nine Tails. The Cat of Nine Tails was a whip with nine tails on it, so nine bits of leather, sometimes with ball bearings, sometimes with hooks in here. But they would whip across the back. So we're coming right into Eagle Hawk Neck. I'm going to slow down as much as I can. We're not allowed to stop on the neck as such. Although people do try it in the height of summer. Just to our left was the old com the old uh, headquarters for the convict, for the uh, soldiers in the housing, or a house on this side. And on our left, just down the front left corner, you'll see a little statue replica of the dog light and his chain and his barrel and this was where the dog line I went right across here a few black swans out on the right window pretty much look like black lumps they stick their heads up and you realize it's a swan Supposedly this is the first act of piracy in Tasmania. It was a couple of bushrangers, a bit hungry. One of the farmers was coming down south with his produce. He rode ashore to get some fresh water. And the bushranger saw him do this, grabbed him, got him to row them back to his boat all the produce on and stole his boat they thought, oh, while well, we're getting away they didn't want to shoot the farmer they weren't murderers, they were just thieves so they set the old farmer back in his dinghy but only gave him one paddle because they didn't want him to get back too early and alert the authorities apparently that was the first act of piracy down there there's quite a few more acts of piracy in our history. Bush rangers and convicts trying to escape. These days it is the home of shacks. Tasmanians call their holiday homes a shack because they used to be little shacks. These days I don't think these are shacks. And also lots of people retiring down here. I don't want to wake down this way, so I feel some retire down to my seat. A lot of retirees 